Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a page in your art journal that you don't really like and just alter it so, so you can sort of start over with the page. So in a previous video, I was showing you uh, my art journal, and there were a few pages that I was, they are bothering me, or I just don't like them. I don't really like what's going on or how it started. So I want to transform it. So what I'm going to do is I picked a stencil that had a lot of openings. So therefore, my new paint is going to cover up a lot of this page. I didn't want to paint the whole thing in gesso to start over because I do want some of that background to pop through. I do like working in layers. So even though I don't like it as a whole, the little bits popping through will be good. So I have some gesso. I'm using um, the Crafters Workshop gesso, but any sort of medium to heavy gesso that you have would work well. I'm going to be using a sponge and just putting it off to the side just because it's the hand, my prominent hand, but um, all I'm doing is putting my sponge in the gesso and then I'm just putting it off to the side. So just so you know, you don't have to go to the side. So now I'm just going to start stenciling. And what I'm doing is trying to just cover up that color. Now, if you use the thin gesso, then you're still going to get a lot of that color coming through. So um, depending if that was the look you want, if you sort of liked it, me, I sort of want to start a little fresher with this page. So you can see um, some of that color is still, like you can see the blue underneath my white. But it's by the time I'm done, it will be in the background, which is fine with me. It's not that I was really against the blue, I just didn't like how it had started. It was a page where I had been using some paint and I just, um, cleaned my brush or my card or whatever I was using and wiped it off on the page. I hadn't really put too much thought into it. Sometimes when you do that, you get something you love and other times you're like, it's not working for me. Now this stencil I'm using, it's from Stencil Girl and I think it was designed by Tracy Batista. I'll put the links um, under the video in the description. It may not still be available because I know I did get it a while ago, but um, Stencil Girl has a bunch of other stencils you might find interesting. So before I remove it, I'm just going to go over a little more in some areas. Now I like to use little makeup sponges for this, but you can use a brush if you like, or um, another tool to apply your paint. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more here. We're getting a lot showing through. So that should be good. So I'm going to remove it. So you can see now that it's, I have the white, but some of that color in that is still coming through. But I find the color a lot more interesting now that I've covered it up and I just like how those little pops are coming through. So I'm going to dry this and then we'll put on another layer. So it didn't take me that long to dry because it was a fairly thin layer of gesso. So now I'm going to come in with another stencil. And I picked one, again, that has a lot of space going on and just sort of an all over pattern. Nothing that was too um, patterny, like more designy. Um, I may not do the whole thing. This time I'm going to use just Liquitex Basics in light portrait pink. Again, you want to use a medium to heavy body paint for this step because I'm going to be starting to come over and still cover up some of that what's underneath. I've put a bit on my mat and I'm doing the same thing with the sponge. Just coming through. And I decided to use this pink because I just wanted a light pink. I didn't want to work too dark yet. So I don't think I'm gonna do it over the entire page. So 
You can always go back and add more. So let's see. Yeah, so there I just have some random dots. I'm going to put that aside. I put way too much paint out so I can use it on something else. So now I have this stencil here. And it's um, a lot finer design. I'm going to use medium magenta if I still have some in here. Oh, I may not have it. Oh, I got a blob out. Now I didn't dry that light pink before going over it. It won't be that wet and there wasn't that much. I wasn't too concerned about it. And again, I'm not gonna cover the whole page. So this is the great thing about having a variety of stencils. You want ones that have like big openings, ones that have small openings, that ones that are an all over design, ones that are uh, actual design. They all come in handy um, for different layers of your projects. Now I'm just sort of rubbing it so it's not as dark as when I was um, stamping it. So it'll just add a sort of fill in those spaces without being really dark. So we'll remove that. That looks sort of cool. I have this design. Put it different ways. I might do. I don't know if I want that full bottom. That's the other thing with these is you can play around and have them in different directions. So this time, what do I have going on here? I think I have this magenta. It's a little darker pink. And I use the same sponge over and over again. I don't change it up with every color, especially since I'm working in pinks. I think I'll put it on this side. Maybe I'll just rub it in a bit. I might just use this sort of to maybe just put a little border around. And then just lightly so you can see I use very little paint for this one so you want to be careful how much paint you put out so that is looking good I think that would be enough texture to put on and then I'd want to work in starting to figure out more of the design. So I think I'll leave it at there. I just wanted to show you how you can take a page you didn't like and transform it just using some gesso stencils and acrylic paints. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time Videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple other videos you might be interested in watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.